welcome back. So today, I want to talk to you about taking a stand for music. And by that, I mean just literally taking a music stand. Generally, focusing on the two that I happen to use. Because I like them and this is my channel and that makes sense. The first music stand I want to talk about today is unquestionably the gold standard for music stands. And that is the Manhasset. This is the Manhasset M48, and it is the most used music stand probably in the world. I don't know that I've ever been to a facility, to a school, to a concert hall that didn't have these as their primary. These are sturdy. These are so well put together. I have had this for a number of years, and this stays here at the house. This is basically a one-piece unit. You don't have to do anything. Everything is, um, you just slide up and down, rotates on the hinge. You don't have to screw anything or unscrew anything, loosen any kind of holding screws, which some others do. This is just, you move it, and it stays where you, do, where you put it, which is fantastic. This is so good, I have literally seen people, and I'll admit, I've done it myself. You get into a, into a rehearsal room and you see not one of these in front of your chair. And you, if there's nobody else around, you start to see, okay, who has one of these? And, you know, where can I switch them out? And I've literally seen them switch, okay, I'm taking this from this one, this one. They are very, very reliable, nice and very sturdy, and just incredible pieces. So when you get your Manhasset, it will come in three parts. The top that holds the music is called the desk, and it just pops on right here, and with a little, um, with just a simple blade screwdriver, Right there, you just tighten it and it's secure. And like I said, this is, you move it, it's just going to stick. You'll get the body of the music stand and then you'll get the three-legged bass. And so I said, you screw the top to the body, put the bass on the body and just this one bolt, you just tighten up. You can use a wrench if you want, you usually just hand tighten it. Um, even if you are, you know, in a room and it just kind of, you'll start to see a little wobble a little bit. You could just, with your fingers, just tighten it up and you're good as new. Now for price, I have seen it go anywhere from $30 up to $50. I would not expect to pay anything less than $40, uh, but nothing more than like $50, $55. This is not necessarily something you would travel with. I'll get into that later on. Another thing that I've found online is they sell these kind of in bulk. One place I found, it was six of them for $200, which is actually a pretty good deal. It comes out to about $33 a pop, and it means, you know, if you find five other families that need music stands, you can all go in on it, and you each get a really good music stand. Manhasset does not uh, pay me to say this. I am just saying it after many, many years of using them and loving them. There are different kinds of music stands as well. Get whatever works for you, but to be honest, this is the way to go. It's the one that's the easiest to use. You don't have extra tightening bolts or anything like that that you have to deal with. It goes where you need it. It stays where you need it. It's, it holds enough music, and your students are probably already used to using it. Now let's look at traveling music stands. When it comes to traveling music stands, I strongly suggest K&M. Now there are other music stands out there. You'll see these wire music stands, but they're not particularly stable. They sometimes that the desk, the top part that holds the music, will come off. I mean, it's meant to come off, and it just slides in a little holder. It's not really all that reliable. It's very very flimsy, and I just. You don't want to, you just don't, you know. K&M, 
I have had this music stand for about 23 years, and it's it's fantastic music stand. I have taken this all over the place. I've taken it overseas, and it's great. It has a little strap here, and it's a pretty good sturdy uh, nylon bag. One thing, again, be honest, the strap fell off a while ago, a couple years ago, actually, and it was just kind of, you know, it's just this little thing here that was up in here and it was sewn up. Um, but considering how long I've had it and how long it's been traveling, the fact that it's, you know, it's not really that messed up is actually pretty good. In full disclosure, I just haven't had a chance to sit down and sew it back on. When I do have that time, I will absolutely get to it. But in the meantime, it's a great, great stand. So with this, I'm going to show you exactly what it, how it was sold to me and what totally sold me on buying it. Um, this is, it's a folding stand. It's very, very sturdy. This is basically their music. If you go to their website, they have a bunch that pretty much look alike. And honestly, I don't know which one this is, but they're all basically the same. It's the 101 or the 105, but they're the most... Uh, most reliable, quite frankly. The desk itself, you just unscrew the, or loosen this top bolt, this folds up. We're going to get back to this. Tripod leg, unscrew it, push it open, boom, pretty simple. I want to extend this next part, again, really, really simple. And one more time for the last one. Boom. That's it. And this is as high as it goes. For the top part, for the desk, the part that holds the music, this is where it got a little confusing at first. So they have these wings that come up. Then you just push down the sides. Voila. Um, it is pretty sturdy, actually. This comes out. These two come out. If you want to... You know, if, you need, if the music is a little big and you want a little bit more support on it, uh, again, really simple to fold up and then put these down and back down. The part that sold me on this, and this is actually that my father and I were standing there talking to the salesman, and he said, this is really sturdy. And I said, okay, well, how sturdy is it? And so he takes his briefcase. This is a briefcase that I use, and as you can see, it's full. It has textbook and a whole bunch of papers and stuff. I weighed it. This right now is about nine pounds. And so, you know, when you buy something, you want to know it works. You want to know that it's sturdy. You want to know that it will last. You want to know, how do I do this with one hand? Come on. There you go. So he grabbed his uh, his briefcase and he put it on the stand. Nine pounds right on top. You know, you know, I think it's sliding down a little bit. Maybe tighten it. But there's nine pounds right there. Still great condition. So it works, and that was it. It's like okay, we know. I'm not going to be carrying nine pounds of sheet music with me. If I am, oh, that's, that's too much music. So, uh, but it's still a great, great piece of equipment and absolutely worth it. I honestly don't know what I paid for this. Well, I don't know what my father paid for this. Uh, and I don't know if the carrying case came with it. I believe it did. Um, but again, even if it didn't, it's worth the price. It absolutely is. Anything, most anything, you're going to pay for a little bit more, you're going to get a better quality. And it definitely stands when it comes to music stands. Sorry about that. As you may have noticed on the desk up here, there is this blue spot. And the blue spot is just blue duct tape. Nothing cracked. There's nothing wrong with it. I just did that as a way to show that this was mine. I also, because my father was particularly insistent on it, 
did the same thing up here or down here uh, just just something little that says hey this is my stand um, so your students know that when they see it it's theirs and in case anybody else tries to you know accidentally picks it up you know it's there and again with something like this since you're not always going to be there to help them make sure that your student knows exactly how to take care of it and also again why it's important to take care of it because you don't want to uh, you don't want to ruin the gear that you that you paid good money for and that's the really important thing there is it's worth paying good money for this especially when you know it's going to be with them for a very very long time so while i go put this stuff away you can do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you get notifications on when our next video goes up next time I will be talking about stands for instruments, and those are just as important, especially, especially when it comes to your instruments being safe around other people, especially when those other people are other young musicians. You get where I'm going with it. All right, thanks again, and I hope everybody's doing well. Drop me a note, drop me a comment, anything you need, I'm here for you. We're all here for you. Just have fun with it. Thanks, guys. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.